Hey, Nation Nation, uh, we're, we're back. Another podcast. We're with uh, Brian Loffer, a quote works longtime friend. How you doing? Doing very well, thank you. All right. Hey, quickly, uh, what what is Quote Works? What what does Quote Works do? Yeah, so uh, we're a sales quoting and proposal solution. Uh, we've been around for almost thirty years now, so we've seen uh, the industry change, and with that, we've changed along with it as far as how we deliver quotes to customers, how we integrate with different solutions. But the the main thing of what we do is we help um, basically anybody create a quote faster uh, than what they're doing right now, delivering the quote, uh, you know, closing that quote, getting payment, automating the process through their CRM and PSA all the way through accounting. Yeah, and as I recall, it's been a while since we talked. As I recall, I think you're hooked into the disties. So your quote has SKUs in pricing, right? Exactly, exactly. And we're able to very easily see all the pricing and availability from all the distributors that you work with. And you don't have to maintain those product lists or anything like that. We're able to, you can do like a keyword search, you can do a part number search, and it'll show you, you know, the parts from TD Cynics, from, um, you know, Ingram, from DNH, even from Amazon Business, all in one screen. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, let's, let's get to the main topic. So uh, your firm recently released a study. What's the study? What's the story? Yeah, so um, early last year in 2022, we uh, we sent out a survey to our customers trying to get an idea of you know what the trends were in IT when when it came to working with vendors and uh, and distributors. Uh, just because you know we're coming through COVID, you know um, things were starting to shape up in Europe or change in Europe, I should say. And so there were still a lot of supply chain concerns, and there are today as well. But we really wanted to get a better idea of what was going on. Um, we were adding on more uh, distributors and vendors at the time. Uh, we're continuing to do that now. But we wanted to get an idea of what um, they were seeing out there. You know, besides like the the people that we see at events, we wanted to open it up to all of the community. Uh, to see what they thought as far as, you know, how many vendors they were working with, you know, what their average sale was, that sort of thing. That way we can kind of share that information with the community and we're going to continue doing that year to year. Uh, so we have um, basically a touch point to see how things are going as the years progress. Yeah, I um, see if I can add value here, hopefully not subtract value. Um, the uh, uh, a startup in an adjacent industry I'm in, uh, I have a, for the first time, an outside board of directors. I should have done that 23 years ago, let me tell you. But um, one of the guys is a data scientist who uh, left Microsoft a, a number of years ago, and he's on his own. And so we're engaging with him in some exercises uh, in, in, in the firmographics area, right, where he can take a list of, uh, quite frankly, a list of vendors and uh, put them in a black box and then turn the handle mm -hmm. and then out the other side will come basic firmographic data that uh, we're interested in like um, you know what's uh, how many employees do they have this that and the other um, and it seems like you're you're kind of getting right up uh, into that area that's kind of what I'm hearing uh, maybe you know different approach but you're essentially doing some firmographic profiling is that fair yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'd say that. I mean, I think the the key thing that we're looking for is, you know, there was a lot of like scuttlebutt about issues with, um, you know, working with different vendors as well as just, you know, uh, how people were able to get and obtain things. I mean, if you remember, I mean, you couldn't find switches for like six months, you know, at a certain point during the pandemic. So it was kind of just getting going from anecdotal information to actually putting it into you know, a real life view of what was actually happening. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Um, how's your business model? And and, and let me frame it up because I've, I've always liked what you did. I see the value of uh, basically saving time and, and, and headaches, right? I haven't carried the bag in a long time, but I do remember, I do remember having to order stuff and yeah. it it's just, it's not what I do. It, it wasn't <laughs> Right. And right. is that uh, the personas that you recruit and serve, are they coming at it from that point of view that I can offload this uh, and do what I want to do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it, the thing is with QuoteWorks, 
you know, we make it so it's easier to quote products and services. Um, you know, when it comes to integrating with vendors and distributors, that is our sweet spot. And that's also the, the, the pain point that most uh, MSPs or um, managed service providers have. It's, it's that integration as far as getting pricing, who has availability, when that availability is going to happen so that they can then plan out their next, you know, one, two, three months of projects because they're going to need those those items in stock. So, you know, not only are we looking at the quoting phase, but we're looking at the purchasing phase and then going into tickets and their PSAs as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I can only imagine the challenges. And by the way, we're going to get you back next quarter. You you, you have a lot to say. So we'll <laughs> maybe tease out the audience a little bit here. But um again, when I carried the bag and uh, parts and, and equipment stuff were never a big part of my practice. Uh, Brian, I was embedded inside a large regional accounting firm in the Pacific Northwest. So we were trying to act more like Anderson Consulting as a part of Arthur Anderson, right? It was that basic model. So we really didn't, uh, you know, do the hardware thing as much, but um, we did. I never had to deal with supply chain issues, Right. I mean, this this is yesteryear and you order the thing and it shows up in a reasonable amount of time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, and really, we didn't really hit this as bad until COVID hit. Um, that's when it really became an issue. Um, but, it, you know, it's always been, um, you know, cost has always been a consideration, um, especially for smaller MSPs. Um, you know, some of the smaller MSPs were at the point where they're, they're, they were telling their customers, go on Amazon, go to CDW, buy it from them, uh, just because it was such a headache for them to quote those products. Um, I mean, the, the, the margins that you would get on product is not what it used to be, you know, 10, 15 years ago, but it's still there. Um, okay. And it's just important to understand where to get it from in order to, to, to keep those margins. But beyond that, you're... You know, you're not just looking at the hardware sale itself, you're looking at being sticky or, you know, having those touch points with the customers as opposed to them, oh, you can just go over there and, oh, by the way, now you can work with any partner because you don't have that relationship with me. Uh, so you want to keep that relationship with your customers. And that's why buying the product for them is so important. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Um, one one final last observation, we're, we're, out, of, we're out of time, but... So I was talking with a, an accomplished uh, MSP down in Houston, um, quite quite a good businessman, and I was talking about your uh, service, your your solution, and this is a few years ago, you know, this way, you know, pre-pandemic, pre-COVID, so we're yakking, and I said, you know, why wouldn't you just do that? And he's like, well, I've already got Allison on payroll, and that's what she does. She's a buy. I already have Allison, mm -hmm. and the conversation kind of meandered uh, about like arbitraging labor rates, you know, versus using your service. D d I'm sure you have that conversation. Well, I've already got Allison. And then maybe you can come in and go, well, we can have Allison do other things or uh, we're cheaper than Allison. <laughs> right. I mean, that's actually the, the, one of the problems that we have when working with a new company is, you know, they have like, you know, they have like two or three people in, in, in procurement. Um, and with us, they can usually downsize quite a bit because we handle the procurement side, including, you know, placing the online order with the distributors, as well as getting tracking information, uh, um, you know, uh, all the serial numbers, all of that. And that then sinks into the PSA as well. So we handle a lot of the overhead. Uh, you can see what's been shipped by the distributors, what hasn't shipped, what is, uh, what's been received, what hasn't been received. Um, all in one place, as opposed to all these just separate systems that a lot of procurement teams are using. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, my friend. Well, we're going to talk to you in continued success. We're going to talk. Oh, uh, hey, last, last, last question. Uh, name one or two shows uh, between now and the next time we talk where people could expect to see you. Yeah, um, so we've got some ASCII events coming up. Um, we'll be at DattoCon, and then just like everybody else, we'll be at IT Nation as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, gotta go. Gotta go. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> All right. All right. Take care. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you.